Hello and welcome to my 30 day yoga challenge. This is day one. Today we're going to look at yoga for beginners. In this gentle routine we'll stretch and warm up the whole body. So take a moment and find a comfortable position. The spine nice and tall, relaxing the shoulders down the back. Just take a moment just to observe how you're feeling. Remember to always listen to your own body and do only what feels right for you. So gently close the eyes and in your own time, take a few slow breaths, relaxing the shoulders down the back. Inhaling and exhaling just through the nose. So we really want to focus on linking your breath and your body in today's practice. Try and fill the whole of the lungs up with oxygen and energy. And in your mind, tell yourself to gently relax. We'll slowly start to warm up the body, circling the shoulders. Up, back and down. Gently warming up the body, waking up the body. And now I'll bring the hands to the side of the body. As you inhale, stretch the arms up overhead. And we stretch up to the ceiling and as you exhale, lower the hands down. Inhale again, stretching the hands up, looking up. And exhale, very gently lower. One more, inhale, stretching, looking up. And exhale, very gently lower. Now inhale, stretch up one more time. Now we'll exhale, this time lower the hands in front of the body, inhale the spine nice and tall and we'll exhale, coming into a gentle forward fold, so walking the hands away. So listening to how your body feels, you may want to stay here, you may feel comfortable to lower down, so lowering from the abdomen as much as you can. And pause. So we're just waking up the body, so only going to as deep as feels comfortable, always listen to your own body and respect what feels right for you. As you inhale around the back, slowly coming up, last thing is your head. And then we'll inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, exhale, lower your hands either side of your right knee. Inhale the spine nice and tall, and exhale, imagine that you want to lower your chest to your knees. So you may just want to go a little way, depending on your flexibility and depending on how you feel rounding the back, just letting go, relaxing the head down. Pause, observing where you feel this stretch. So inhaling and exhaling nice and slowly, trying to fill the whole of the lungs up with oxygen and energy. Just pausing. Then we'll inhale, walk the hands back towards the hips, supporting the weight of the body. Next breath and sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale now, twisting to the left, lowering the hands either side of your left knee. Inhale, the spine nice and tall, and exhale now, walking the hands away, pausing wherever feels comfortable, rounding the back and then lowering the head down. Just take a moment to observe the difference from the side of the body to the other. Nice, slow breaths. Now as you inhale, slowly walk the hands back, supporting the weight of the body, we'll come into the centre and then we'll bring one hand onto each knee and we'll circle the weight of the body into nice big circles. So this is stretching the sides of the torso, the back and strengthening the abdomen, keep breathing in and out through the nose, making the circles as big or as small as feels comfortable, really observe what you feel in this pose and then we'll change direction. Really lowering as deeply as feels comfortable, but keeping the sitting bones on the mat. We'll do one more, and then we'll come back into our normal position in the centre. Draw the shoulders up to the ears, back and down a few times. In nice big circles, listening for any clicks, any tension. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And then we'll support the outside of the knees, draw the knees in. 
and we'll gently walk out the legs bending one leg and the other just to relax the knees from having them bent and then we'll bring the legs to the side we'll come onto our hands and knees into table pose so the hands underneath the shoulders the knees apart underneath the hips and as you inhale lower the abdomen to the mat and look up towards the ceiling and as you exhale draw the abdomen in and up around the upper back inhale again lower the abdomen look up to the ceiling and exhale draw the abdomen in and up and round the back into cat inhale lower the abdomen looking up into cow pose and exhale very gently round this time we'll inhale into a neutral position in the center spreading your fingers of your hands and we'll lift up when you're ready your left leg so lifting your leg nice and high and then very gently lower the hip down and try and lower and keep the hips in line so without the hip being very high drawing the abdomen in and up we'll pause here and then gently lower the knee down we'll inhale now lift the right leg up so gently lowering the leg down even bringing your hand onto your hips if that helps to we'll try and keep your hips in the line drawing the abdomen in and up we'll take a breath in and then as you exhale very gently lower the knee down so on your next breath in lifting the left leg up again and if it feels comfortable also the right hand with the palm facing in take a few slow breaths in here drawing the abdomen in making the abdominal muscles nice and strong or take a breath in and as you exhale very gently lower the hand and then the knee down on your next breath in we'll lift the right leg up if it feels comfortable the left hand and pausing here for a few breaths inhaling and exhaling through the nose one more breath in and as you exhale gently lower the hand and then the knee down so we're going to link this pose with our cat cow breath so if you prefer you can keep the hands onto the mat so we'll inhale lift the left leg you can either stay here or you can lift your right hand up take a breath in and as you exhale imagine drawing your elbow to your knee rounding the back inhale straighten the arm and leg and exhale elbow to knee inhale again straighten and exhale elbow to knee gently lower down before we do the other side so now lifting up when you're ready the right leg and then if you feel comfortable the left arm take a breath in on your exhale draw your elbow to your knee inhale straighten exhale draw your elbow to your knee inhale straighten and exhale elbow to knee inhale straighten and then exhale gently lower all the way down bring the hands just at the left to come into some side cat cow breath so as you inhale lower the abdomen looking up and exhale round the back inhale again lowering the abdomen looking up and exhale gently round one more inhale lower the abdomen looking up and exhale very gently round well inhale come into a neutral position in the center walk the hands into the center and then we'll very gently walk the hands all the way over to the right keeping the hands underneath the shoulders inhale lower the abdomen looking up and exhale round the back inhale again lowering the abdomen looking up and exhale very gently round last time inhale lower the abdomen looking up and exhale very gently round well inhale now come into a neutral position and then walk the hands back into the center to prepare for anahata so we'll take a deep breath in as you exhale lower onto the forearms just pausing checking the hips are above the knees take hold of the left elbow with the right hand take a breath in as you exhale keeping the elbows in line or we'll work towards lowering the chest towards the ground so resting your head wherever feels comfortable inhaling and exhaling through the nose here so just take a moment observe how is your breath are you able to deepen the breath one or two slow breaths and to prepare to come out of the pose we'll take a deep breath in we'll start to 
lift the chest, walk the elbows back towards your knees, come back onto your hands to come into cat cow breaths again. So inhale, lowering the abdomen, looking up, and exhale, draw the abdomen in and up and round the back. Inhale, lowering the abdomen, looking up, and exhale, very gently round. One more, inhale, lower the abdomen, looking up, and exhale, very gently round. Now inhale, come into a neutral position to come into Anahat on the other side. So as you exhale, walk the hands one space forward, lower onto the elbow. Now take hold of the right elbow with the left hand, take a breath in. As you exhale, keep the elbows in line, walking them away, and then lower the chest to wherever feels comfortable and resting your head wherever feels comfortable. So in this pose, we're working towards keeping the hips roughly above the knees. It's very important to keep the elbows in line with each other, to keep a balance in the shoulders and take a couple of slow breaths here. Try and expand the lungs in all directions. And observe where you feel this stretch, maybe across the chest, around the shoulders, between the shoulder blades, you may even feel it across the abdomen, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Now to prepare to come out of this pose, on your next breath in we'll start to lift the chest, gently walk the elbows back towards the knees, very slowly come back to table. Take a breath in, lower the abdomen looking up, and exhale, draw the abdomen in and up and round the upper back. Inhale again, lowering the abdomen, looking up, and exhale very gently round. Last time, inhale, lower the abdomen, looking up, now we'll exhale. Inhale the sun into a neutral position, and then we'll walk the hands when you're ready, one space forward, tuck under the toes, gently draw the hips back to the heels, lift the knees off the ground and come into a downward facing dog. So we'll gently walk out the knees, so bending and straightening the legs, encouraging the heels towards the ground, and then walk out one leg and the other. Maybe spread your fingertips, checking the feet are the distance between your hips. And we can rock the hips very subtly from side to side, just to have a different stretch. And then we'll start to walk the hands towards the feet, bending the knees as much as you need to and pause here, having a gentle bend in the knees, rounding the back, and you can bend and straighten the legs if this helps to release, release the stretch in the hamstrings. We can cross the arms and gently rock from side to side. So just letting go of your head, allowing your head to hang heavy to stretch on the back of the neck. And then we'll come up to standing. So very gently, we'll release the arms, changing the arms first to the other side and then we'll bend the knees, tuck under the chin, come all the way up, last thing to come up is your head. Well, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead and exhale, very gently lower. Inhale again, sweep the arms up to the ceiling and this time we'll exhale, come into a forward fold. Inhale, look up nice flat back, we'll exhale, bend the knees and walk the hands We'll come back into downward facing dog. So walking out the legs, this time try and stretch the feet, stretch around the toes, bending one leg and the other. Check that the hands are nice and spread. Really encourage a nice stretch in the feet and in the back of the legs. And then we'll inhale when you're ready. Lower the hands into plank, checking the shoulders above the wrists. Exhale, lower the knees down and lower all the way down onto the mat. Keeping the elbows in, we'll inhale to a low cobra, just observing how the back is. Exhale, gently lower. Inhale a little bit higher, only if it feels comfortable. And exhale, gently lower. Now inhale gently to whichever height feels comfortable. And exhale, very gently lower. Next breath in, we'll gently tuck under the toes and push up back into downward facing dog. Just pausing here for a moment. Nice slow breathing, so we can rock the hips from side to side. Having a nice stretch in the back of the body. And now we'll inhale, bend the knees, walk the feet towards the hands, lifting the hands as much as you need to. 
Just resting in a forward fold just for a moment. Really letting go. Now we inhale, bend the knees to reduce the stretch in the back of the legs. Round the back, come all the way up to standing. Nice curled back, last thing to come up is the head. And we'll rotate the shoulders down the back a few times as you're exhaling. So now I'm going to do the opposite of you. So coming into triangle, take a breath in. As you exhale, take a big step out back with your right foot. So facing me, the right foot is parallel to the short side of the mat and the left foot is parallel to the long front side of the mat. We'll draw the hips towards the right, the left hand stretch up to the ceiling. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands in line with your shoulders, stretch over to the left and then lower your left hand as you raise your right. So looking up towards your right thumb, pause here for a few breaths, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Really try and draw back your right shoulder. As you breathe in, we'll come all the way back up. Exhale, bring your hands onto your hips. We'll change the feet so they're in the other direction. Hands still on the hips. We'll draw the hips now to the left. Inhale, stretch the right hand up to the ceiling, lengthening the right side of the torso. Bring both hands now in line with the shoulders and then gently lower down, lowering the right hand as you raise the left. So pausing here, just for one or two breaths. Trying to look up towards your thumb, drawing back your left shoulder, inhaling and exhaling. Your next breath in will come all the way back up. Exhale, bring your hands onto your hips. We'll bring the feet so they're parallel. Inhale when you're ready, sweep the hands up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, come into a wide forward fold. So if you can rest your hands onto the floor, we can gently rock the hips from side to side, or you can hold the elbows. So you can bend and straighten the legs. This helps to release the tension in the hamstrings and release the tightness in the lower back. To come out of this pose, we'll inhale, bend the knees round the back, come all the way up to standing. Last thing is the head, straightening the legs, and we're relaxing the shoulders down the back with a few circles. And then we'll heel to the feet into the center. Bring the hands in front of the heart or take a breath in. As you exhale, bend the knees, lifting the heels a little all the way down to a balancing squat pose on the toes. Take a breath in and exhale gently. One more breath in. As you exhale, very gently come out of the pose. So lowering the hands onto the mat, nice and controlled, coming down to sitting. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see, but you can stay where you are. We're going to come into boat pose. So supporting underneath the thighs, lifting your feet off of the ground. So this has different stages. You can stay here, lifting the chest, but relaxing the shoulders. If you feel more comfortable, you can bring the hands by the side of the legs. So nice, slow breathing in and out through the nose. So really drawing the abdomen in, really strengthening the abdomen. We'll take a breath in and exhale slowly. Gently lower the hands down, lower the legs down, give your knees a good hug. Now to work on the abdomen in a slightly different way, we'll release the knees, straighten the legs, sit up nice and tall, just check there's nothing behind you. Bring the hands roughly in the line with the shoulders. Take a breath in as you exhale, stretch forward, lower from the abdomen. Inhale, sit up nice and tall in the center and exhale, slightly lower back. Inhale, come into the center, sitting up tall. Exhale, stretching forward. Inhale, into the center, sitting tall. And as you exhale, gently lower back. Inhale, come into the center, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, stretching forward. Inhale, come into the center, sitting tall. And exhale, very gently lower back. Inhale, come into the center, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, lower the hands down. Now shuffle to the end of your mat. Check there's nothing behind you, sitting up nice and tall. Hands once more in line with the shoulders. This time we'll take a breath in. And as you exhale, very slowly going to lower all the way down to the mat. So if you prefer, you can bend your knees or take your time to come down. Really listen to your own body. 
or draw the knees into the chest. Give them a good hug. And then maybe gently rock from side to side to relax the back to massage the hips and stimulate the digestive organs. Give the knees one final hug and then very gently lower the legs down to come into Shavasana. So the feet, the distance of the hips or the edges of the mat, hands just gently by the side of the body, palms curled up towards the ceiling. Close the eyes, just take a few slow breaths here. Just letting go of any worries, any tension. Just allow the body to soften and to relax. So just start to come out of this pose now. On your next breath in when you're ready. We'll start to wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes. On your next breath, and we'll slide the feet together and the arms up overhead and have a full body stretch, pointing the toes. And then we'll gently draw one knee into the chest and then the other. And then we'll gently rock from side to side just for a moment. And then when you're ready, rock completely onto your right hand side. And pushing your left hand on the floor in front of your face, pushing into the ground, we'll come up and find a comfortable sitting position. It's the spine nice and tall, relaxing the shoulders down the back. So just taking a moment just to observe how you're feeling. How is your physical body, your breath and your mind? So always remember to thank yourself for dedicating time to you and your own health and well-being. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.